health alert. It is the season, of course, for respiratory illness, and that includes what we're seeing as an uptick in COVID cases at the moment. Flu and RSV season, it's here, right? And, and this year, though, there is an approved vaccine for RSV, and DHS is pushing for people to get that vaccine, specifically targeting pregnant women. Brittany Schmidt joins us now looking into this. So why this push now, right now for this vaccine. They're seeing a, a, an uptick across the, the state. Um, they released new numbers that we got today. So unfortunately, so far this year, which RSV season starts November 1st. Mm -hmm. So from November 1st till now, we've seen three pediatric deaths in the state. 1400 people have been hospitalized in the state and 580 of those are children under the age of two. So they're really targeting pregnant women because this this vaccine is relatively new, but it can protect a baby up to six months after it's born. So what's the what's the difference there between doing it uh, when the baby is still in utero versus <laughs> waiting for birth and, and giving it as an infant as, as some other vaccines are? Right. So when we asked that today to the DHS, um, the Department of Health Services experts, um, there is a, a the RSV vaccine is readily available and it can be given now. There is a, a second type of shot. It's, it's a monoclonal antibody shot, but that can be given up to eight months after the baby is born, but that is in really limited supply right now. Okay. So that is why they're pushing the baby to get the vaccine while still in utero rather than after, because there's no guarantee you're gonna be able to get it after if the baby does need it. And some of the, the research, we got some of the numbers today too. So this vaccine can reduce risk of severe disease up to 90 days after birth. And then it drops down to 70 70% 70 um, after 180 days. Okay. So the percentages are there that it works. Um, and, and you know, they also talked about, you know, the baby's immune system is really new. It's sure. got a lot going on once it's born. If the parent, if the, you know, the mom can take on that vaccine and then give it to the baby through normal procedures, it's less taxing on the baby. So once it's easier born. for it's easier for the baby here. So correct for pregnant women who consider this, is there a window in which this has to be done? There is, and it's pretty pretty strict. It's the third trimester okay. between 32 weeks and 36 weeks. So that's the time frame that they that they want women to get this type of vaccine. And they can get it with other vaccines. So like the flu vaccine, the COVID vaccine, the Tdap vaccine, all of those are a little bit more variant and you can sure. kind of get them throughout your pregnancy. But this one is very specific third trimester. All right, Brittany, thanks so much for that information. Still to come here at